Mark time. What? He has got the biggest heart, but he has such strong and very real expectations for his kids. Cool. Another one of those. Mark time. Hut. It's literally family. He's been like his second dad to me for ever since I joined the band. Five, four, three, lock, squeeze, push. Heel, heel, hit. He has taught me a lot of life lessons that I wouldn't have learned without. And it's just like, without that, I don't know how well I do in life. There's 180 of us in the marching band, plus concert bands and jazz bands, so like 200. But he knows all of us very well on a personal level, and I, I, don't, I don't know how to put it into words all the way. And he holds them accountable, um, but he's, he's just real. He's a human with them, and he gets to their level and talks to them, you know, like a person. Yeah, guys, we're, we're really sounding good tonight, and if everybody can commit to having those horn angles up, I mean, what are these three minute long songs, and then you have a horns down, so really everybody should be having really great horn angles the whole time. I mean, that's the beauty of this night, right? That's why we do it, is so it's just for you guys. <laughs> This group of kids, they've found their niche. And I think, you know, I've been teaching high school at Eagle Crest now for 14 years, and I'm very convinced that if a student finds their place to be, they're more successful, you know, when they find that. And I talk all the time about the Raptor Band family, and these kids are amazing. Um, I mean, I, I've developed, you know, even friendships with these kids. I mean, when I was, you know, early on as a teacher at Eagle Crest, you know, I still have kids that I talk to, you know, then, and they have their own kids, and they like to bring them and, and show me their kids and talk to me about their successes and, um, you know, things like that. I have several students that are music teachers now, you know, that I'd like to think I had a little hand in that, and um, I just, I, I just really feel like because we spend so much time with these kids and we spend time with them in a, an area that is different than a lot of other you know classes we're talking about you know putting your heart into things and and you know listening engaging and emoting and you know doing something beautiful um, and I think that just allows us to connect with the kids on a different level than I probably could if I was a math teacher having fun always having fun man these kids are great